What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we're talking about gaining muscle, but more specifically, gaining muscle as a hard gainer. One of our community members, Cody Bishop, asked, any videos on gaining weight at six foot, 160 pounds and 38 years old. It is so tough to gain weight. Not one of those guys that can stuff himself with food would love to be in that 175 pound range. Cody, you have come to the right place, my brother. I got you. I was a hard gainer. I identified as a hard gainer because all of the media, all of the fitness publications and content out there and dudes in the gym said I was a hard gainer. As a high school freshman, I weighed 114 pounds. I graduated high school weighing 200 and 10 pounds, I went on to weigh 282 pounds as a competitive power lifter in a 10 year span. So I brought my body weight from 114 to 282 in less than 10 years. From 114 to 210 in less than four years. How did I do this? Where well, I'm going to teach this exactly to you right now. This information came from a very specific individual in my life known as Powerlifter Mike. Powerlifter Mike was a legend in the gym. He was in his mid-upper 50s. He always wore the same blue t-shirt with the sleeves cut off, gray sweatpants, Chuck Taylor Converse, and brought in a duffel bag as if he was moving that would sit next to the bench. I never saw him go into the duffel bag, by the way. He would sit on the bench press, and he would rattle out sets of five repetitions with 315, never broke a sweat, never breathed heavy, made it look easy. He'd do behind-the-neck shoulder presses with 225, sets of five, sets of five, sets of five, making everything look easy. And he said he wasn't training for strength anymore. He was training to maintain. Well, one time... As I was 14 years old, just training every single day, I was training six days a week, diligently every single day, and I was getting stronger, but I wasn't quite getting bigger. And Powerlifter Mike took me out to a steak dinner right around the corner from the gym, and we started talking about training and building muscle, and he went back through his encyclopedic knowledge of strength training and muscle building back from the early days. Now, this is 30 years ago, and Mike was in his mid-50s at that point. I don't know if Mike's still around, and hopefully he still is, but that being said, 30 years ago, this is 90. He was born in the 40s, right? He had a ton of knowledge pre-drug use, pre-steroid, pre-machines, pre-social media, pre-protein powder, knowledge of how to truly build strength. And let me share it with you right now. If you are a hard gainer, if you're trying to build muscle, if you want to get bigger and stronger and transform your body, you can do it in rapid fashion if you are willing to commit your time, your schedule, your priority to doing what you need to do. Now, let's first talk about the workout. The workout itself is simple. This is probably the easiest thing you can do is the workout. We perform a series of exercises known as multi-joint compound movements. We want exercises that will tax the most amount of muscles per movement. You will yield the highest results. And that's what Powerlifter Mike says. Forget about the cables, cables. Forget about the leg press. Forget about all the machines. You simply need a barbell and a stack of plates. That's it. That's all they had in the early days. And that's all you need to build massive muscle. So forget about the machines. Forget about the cables. Forget about all the conveniences of modern globo fitness. Get yourself inside a power rack with a barbell and a bunch of plates and perform a specific series of exercises. Multi-joint compound movements. Standing barbell overhead presses. 
Lying floor presses. I prefer those to the bench presses. Mike suggested bench presses. Bench presses are prone to a little bit more injury. Do the floor press instead. Heavy bent over rows. Bent over barbell rows. Heavy chin-ups. Pull-ups or chin-ups. Weighted. Heavy deadlifts. Pick the weight up off the floor. Stand up with it, baby. Conventional, sumo, I don't care. Can you pick it up? Deficit, sure. Pin pulls, why not? Squats. Barbell squats, back squats, front squats. Zercher squats, squat. Well, that's really what you need to do. Now, multi-joint compound movements. We push, we pull, we squat, we hinge, and then we resist rotation throughout the court. Those are the things you need to do. I've done a series of videos on this before. Now, what rep range should you train in? Well, you should be training between 6 to 12 repetitions. On average, 8 repetitions are the ideal blend of building massive amounts of muscle and dramatic amounts of strength. If you're training at 6 repetitions, if you can get 6 repetitions, that's fine. Keep that weight until you can get to the 8 to 10 range. And then add a little bit more weight again. 8 to 10 is the holy grail of building muscle and building strength. Now, how much weight should you use? Starting around 80% of your one rep technical max. What's a technical max? That's your ability to move a weight from point A to point B with technically proficient form. Not cheating like your dill hole buddies in the gym. This will yield much higher long-term results with a much lower incidence of injury if you set your maxes based upon or set your rep scare, your, your percentage based upon technical maxes, right? So multi-joint compound movements, six to 12 total repetitions per set, ideally in the eight to 10 repetition, holy grail, starting at approximately 80% of your one rep max. But every time you go in the gym, you're focused on progressive overload, adding slightly more weight, slightly more weight, slightly more weight, slightly more weight, slightly more reps with more weight, more reps and more weight, more reps, reps and more weight. Progressive overload is key. If you do not have a notebook, if you are not writing down every exercise you do, the amount of weight you do it, the amount of repetitions and the rest periods in between, you're failing. You will not gain the appropriate amount of muscle nor the appropriate amount of strength in the fastest amount of time if you are not managing the metrics. And this is one of the most important takeaways I got from Mike. Inside that duffel bag, he had his notebook. His notebook had every damn workout he had ever done. And he had stacks of workouts that in time through my mentorship over a decade with Powerlifter Mike, he would show me notebooks going back 20, 30 years. He was so diligent about managing his metrics and competing against himself and always the same 10 to 12 exercises. Rarely did he ever, ever, ever vary. He would hit a three-week peak on a certain exercise, and he would rotate out. What does that mean? He'd hit a three-week peak. He'd do a three-week cycle with standing overhead military press. He'd hit that number, and he would cycle onto the bench press or an incline press or a heavy-weighted dip before cycling back to the overhead barbell press. Very simple. 12 or so total exercises he focused 80-plus percent of his time on. This is one of the strongest humans, one of the largest humans I had ever seen to this day. All built with simple, tried-and-true, proven principles that I'm sharing with you right now. Now, training frequency is another consideration. Back in the early days, the turn of the, the 20th century, the early 1900s, the 20s, the 40s, those great lifters that inspired power lifter Mike, they were all focused on training the entire body three days per week, known as the full body split. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they trained their entire body using the exact same multi-joint co multi -joint compound exercise I'm talking about right now in the exact same rep range at the exact same percentage of 1RM but they would train the full body every other day. Little did they know at that time, they stumbled upon this because anecdotally they saw the results. They were utilizing 
the benefit of muscle protein synthesis, which clearly shows training an individual muscle or muscle group every 48 hours has a dramatic impact on the muscle building ability of that stimulation. So I train on Monday, I train on Wednesday, I train on Friday, the similar muscle group. What happens, I can actually threefold my muscle and strength progress instead of doing the traditional bodybuilder bro split, which is training each body part once per week. This is popularized because of steroids. The bro split became popular when performance enhancing drugs entered the fitness community simply because of nitrogen retention. It, essentially, there are certain growth factors that are um, a, a result of these performance enhancing drugs that you do not have the benefit of. And steroid induced bodybuilders will benefit from muscle protein synthesis much more so than they will of the traditional bro split. Let's wash that aside. Now, you can actually train full body every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or you can you can perform, excuse me, a version of the push pull program. That would be Monday and Thursday. You train your push muscles Tuesday and Friday. You train your pull muscles. You can do an upper lower body split upper body, Monday, lower body, Tuesday, Wednesday off upper body, Thursday, lower body, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off on Wednesday and Saturday. We would suggest performing some sort of general physical preparedness or, um, athletic recovery, sled dragging, tire flipping, battle ropes, um, going for a walk even, or a bicycle ride, all these great athletic benefits. Now, one of the programs we talk about here to close this loop before I discuss diet is the push pull legs program. The push pull legs program is another great variation to add though. You're slightly increasing the time in between workouts. There is a dramatic ability to recover. We found the push pull leg program to be very beneficial for body recomposition. Maybe you're not quite a hard gainer. You still want to build muscle, but you want to lose body fat. The push pull legs program is excellent because now you're training six days a week, which I love. I can still build muscle. I can still build strength, but my training frequency allows me a greater caloric expenditure on a daily and weekly basis that does trim me down and burn up some of the extra body fat. If I'm going into a heavy bulk phase, I'll typically start with a full body every other day for three to six weeks, I'll transition into a push pull program for three to six weeks. And then I'll go through and clean things up with a push pull legs for three to six weeks. And then I will cycle back again to more of that full body. Now, nutrition. If you want to build muscle, you must eat, you must eat, you must eat. But gone are the days of the heavy bro bulk. Gone are the days of eating yourself sick. Gone are the days of eating until you want to vomit. Now, let me briefly, speaking of, of vomit, let me briefly show you something here and share screen. Let me pull this up for you. Um, can I find it? You know what? I don't think I have access to it right now, but it is, oh, hold on. Maybe I do have it. Nope, can't get it. Oh, well, it was a photo of myself at 282 pounds. I showed on yesterday's video. I can't quite find it right now, and I don't want to sift through my hard drive in order to find it. But God are the days or the heavy bulk. The dirty bulk, as we say, where we dramatically overeat horrible, terrible processed foods in order to gain weight. Gone are those days. It's not a good look and it doesn't work because we now know that those dirty bulks lead us to diet finally all the way down. And most of the time we diet off all of our muscle and all of our strength. So what's the point? of taking three to six months to bulk our way up 20, 40 pounds to diet down 20, 40 pounds and not have a single ounce of extra muscle to show for it. What we know now is the clean bulk works much better. How do you clean bulk? You take your body weight right now. Your body weight is, let's say, 200 pounds. For the hard gainer, you're 150 pounds. Times that by 10. This is very much in line with the Harris-Bennett equation, which is one of the generally recognized um, more popular estimates of your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, 
body weight times 10, 150 means you need to eat 1,500 total calories per day. Well, that's great. Now you want to start gaining muscle. So how do you do that? Add 500 calories for your daily activity. Add 500 calories for your general workout specifically. So 1,500 turned into 2,500 total calories. We would say now is start training at 2,500 calories, eating one gram of protein per pound of relatively lean body weight. And if you're a hard gainer, that means you're pretty damn lean already. So you should be consuming somewhere about 150 grams or so of protein. We would start slightly less, maybe 120, 130, 140, which gives us room to scale. You with me here? Body weight times 10, add another thousand calories for general activity and intense workouts. That puts you at about 2,500 calories spread between four to five meals. Four to five meals is actually rather simple. That's four 500 calorie meals and a shake thrown in there or a smoothie. Very simple, very easy. Now, eating less than three times per day is not effective. You're not going to build muscle. Eating more than five times per day really has negligible effects. The sweet spot is Dr. Brad Schoenheld has found and Dr. Andy Galpin recently spoke about and Dr. Eric Helms and many of the other PhDs who do study this have shown that eating three to four times per day, three to five times per day, the holy grail, the, the Goldilocks zone seems to be four feeding sessions throughout the day is optimal to build muscle and build strength. This allows us to get the right nutrients in at the right time and allowing greater digestive efficiency to process that food. I will also note that eating healthful whole foods is far superior than taking any supplements. I sell a whey protein isolate. You can click the link below to learn more about the Dolce Whey, but I will tell you don't buy it until you're eating high net nutrient foods at least four times per day consistently. And then you consider can consider adding some sort of supplemental protein to that mixture, but not at the beginning food. There's nothing more powerful than food. So you as the hard gainer, you need to be eating a minimum four times per day. And I would say start at four meals per day. And this is what powerlifter Mike had me do. I did all the training that we just spoke about, all the multi-joint compound movements. I stayed between six to 12 repetitions. Anytime I got the 10 repetitions on any exercise, I increased the weight. And every single time I walked in the gym, I tried to increase the weight or increase the reps. And I always wrote it down in my notebook. I have notebooks going back to the 90s of all of my training. And it's so fun to, to look at. And I'll probably release those one day in just a, a fun little download or a book or something like that. But during this period of time, I was eating four meals per day consistently, like clockwork. And I became like a... A, a, a robot. And I am a, a creature of habit. Even since I was a kid, I love structure. I love schedule. And this is what I said in the beginning of the video. If you are a hard gainer, I don't want you complaining. If you're not training intensely, if you're not training consistently, if you're not training intelligently, if you're not eating consistently when you're supposed to, what you're supposed to, if you're not doing that, you're not a hard gainer. You're just a soft ass. And there is a difference. Do not blame genetics or body type because you are mentally weak. If you want to gain strength, if you want to gain muscle, you must harden the fuck up. You must delay gratification. You must be diligent. You must be focused. You must be accountable. And that's the real of it. And as a 13-year-old teenager, I was about it. I was hard as fuck. And I focused on my four meals a day. And I was consistent and I was diligent. And then instead of adding more food to my plate, Powerlifter Mike had me add more meals to my day. So then I went up to five meals throughout the day, which gave me a full extra feeding session. And the gains really started to come. And then I went back and started adding just a little bit more food to each meal consistently. Now, the next part and the last part of this is sleep. If you're not sleeping a minimum of eight hours per night, you're not a hard gainer. You're just a soft ass. You're just an entitled little baby who's not doing the things necessary to be successful. You're wasting your time complaining about why you're not successful. You're blaming the world instead of taking personal accountability. If you want to gain muscle, if you want to gain strength, you must be asleep for eight hours a night. 
Don't blame your kids. Don't blame your spouse. Don't blame your job. Don't blame anybody. Blame yourself because you are the only person responsible. That's it. Once you accept that and embrace that fact, well, baby, let me tell you, the gains are going to come and they're going to come hard and fast. Now, let's say you're training exactly the way I suggest. You're eating exactly the way I suggest. Now, what supplements are beneficial? That's where you might consider a whey protein isolate to bump up that protein consumption. Now, you might consider a creatine monohydrate to dramatically impact your ability to exercise slightly longer with slightly higher loads and build more healthy functional muscle tissue. Those are about the two primary supplements that are beneficial if you are avoiding the drugs, which I would suggest you avoid the drugs at all costs. Now, I'm gonna answer some quick questions right here, then I have a little bonus for you at the end. Now, if anybody is interested, I do suggest very briefly, I will mention Bam! At the end of this month, we are hosting the Mastering the Weight Cut Seminar. Not exactly for hard gainers, but possibly it is. We also, in March, we're hosting our next Dolce Diet Certification and Nutrition Conference. But January 29th, we will be hosting the Mastering the Weight Cut Seminar. Go to DolceDietShop.com to learn more about that, plus our next certification and fitness conference. Rye says, boom, baby, cowboy, what's up? Josh Thompson, do you ever find a high-carb breakfast to leave you feeling groggy and sluggish on days you have it first before being active? Absolutely not. Our high-carb meal is also a high-protein meal and a high-fat meal. We speak about the breakfast bowl. What is the breakfast bowl? The breakfast bowl is oats and seeds and nuts and fruit and cinnamon. It is awesome. Check out, type in Dolce Diet Breakfast Bowl. You can click the links below. We have a personalized diet and exercise total body transformation program that is completely online and, and individualized to you. You can click the link below to learn more. We have 200 recipes available for you for workouts. Everything I'm talking about is inside the DolceDiet.com's personalized programs. Isaac says, hey, Dolce, just won a boxing match today. Hell yeah. I want to thank you because I was following your diet and that helped me and the weight came off super easy. Isaac, thank you so much. An honor to be in your corner, my friend. Um, everyone, look, Isaac here just won his boxing match today. He followed the DolceDiet.com program. Click the link below to learn more. Get in great shape. Let me be in your virtual corner. Rye says, Dolce, thanks for kissing my ass back to here back into here recently right back in the gear rise you got it that's what i'm here for to provide you the most honest actionable and evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life i will not sugarcoat it i will not conflate it i will not throw social media clickbait at you i will not sell my soul or i will not i will not risk my integrity telling you anything that is not 100 true and evidence-based and effective Period. The end. You might not want to hear it, but I'm going to tell you and you are going to respect it because you know it's true. Should a boxer MMA do any weightlifting or just calisthenics and kettlebell stuff? Well, it really depends on the individual. All athletes should train for strength. Now, you, sh you should also train for strength relative to what your needs are specifically to your sport. And how, does, uh, how do those carry over? I could do other videos on those down the road. Kit says, I dropped 40 pounds over the last year going on your 12-week program. Thoughts on weighted vest for lists since I used to carry those extra pounds while walking. Kit also followed our 12-week program below. You can click the link below this video. You can start your own Living Lean program. Kit lost 40 pounds. Now, should you wear a weighted vest? No, you should not. No, you should not. Why is that? Because list is list. List is low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity with a highlight on the low intensity. If we start wearing weighted vests, this is no longer low intensity. This becomes a moderate intense or more glycolytic energy um, focused exercise. We don't want that. We want to stay in the aerobic training zone, allowing this to be more of a mobilizer of stored body fat. We can train harder later with weight vests and kettlebells and all the heavy, crazy, high-intensity stuff later on in the day. Do not. List is list. List is walking. 
Go for a 30 to 45 minute walk every day, ladies and gentlemen. This will change your life. Russian producer. Good morning, brother. Hope all is well. Nice to see you. Brian says, damn it. My ass needs to get back in the gym and eating properly. I caught COVID and I lost every bit of momentum. Well, Brian, today is your lucky day. Today is the day everything changes. Today is the day you get back on track. Today is the day you make better decisions. Today is the day you agree that you will start doing everything in your power to be the very best version of yourself. Today is the day you set a goal three months from now and you say, three months from now, I will specifically do this. Here at the end, and now you are on the hook. Make it a simple goal that is attainable, but you have to work to achieve. You can't just fall out of bed and have it and attain it. You must work towards it. Brian, right now it starts easy. How is that? You simply drink more water. You simply stop eating highly processed foods, synthetic toxic chemicals. You stop drinking alcohol and sports drinks and energy drinks. You start preparing your own high net nutrient, healthful whole foods in wide variety, and you simply eat it regularly and consistently. You start moving your body 30 minutes per day in a healthy athletic manner that is slowly scalable and easy to improve. Remember in the beginning of, of this video, we talked about progressive overload. Progressive overload is the concept of improving your life slowly but surely. We say base hits. Base hits all day, every day, every time you're up at bat. And expect to be challenged. Expect to be uncomfortable. Expect to be a little needy and a little emotional and feel a little entitled. Expect to be sore. Expect to be tired. But you have, com you have committed to see it through and follow it through. And Brian, today is the first day of you dramatically changing your life, the course of your life. Congratulations, my friend. Keep me posted. AG says, Mike, 10 years later, I still follow three weeks to shred it. Hell yeah, AG. Thank you so much. Glad to have you in the community. Amer says, I started three weeks to shred it today and getting some Muay Thai sparring in before lifting. Hell yeah, Amer. Welcome, man. Keep going. Keep going. Let's crush it. Omar, the breakfast bowl is the best breakfast you'll ever have. And I actually do agree with that. I freaking love it. Right on, Omar. Man bear pig. When do the prelims start today, guys? I have no idea. No idea. Um, AG says, Mike, how is your metabolism affected if you only sleep six hours per night? Horribly. Horribly. There's a saying in the medical field, sleeping less than six hours is as if you had not slept at all. You are missing out on most of the benefit of repairing your body, regenerating your body, rebuilding your body, cleaning your body, cleansing your body. If you're sleeping less than six hours. Why would you not go to bed nine hours before you're set to wake up nine hours before you're set to wake up? You are not that busy. You are not that important. You're not that cool. You're not doing so much awesome life-changing stuff to not be in bed nine hours before you're scheduled to wake up. I have yet to meet a single person that regretted going to bed early, ever. Now we need to be adults and we need to be accountable. And we need to set our own bedtime to get out of our way. Netflix will be there tomorrow. The internet and Instagram will be there when you wake up tomorrow. Get your ass in bed nine hours before you're scheduled to wake up. You can have some hanky-panky time with the significant other. You can read a book, scroll a little IG, watch a great video like this on YouTube, and then you can ease off into deep, restful sleep and get your eight-plus hours of sleep per night and dramatically improve your life. Or you can just make excuses and blame the world and pretend like you're so busy and sleep less than eight hours and get inferior results for your hard work and be utterly frustrated until chronic illness slowly creeps up long before it should and starts to ruin your quality of life and then probably kill you 10, 20 years before potentially you should have passed on leaving your family upset with how lazy you actually were. That was like, whoa, holy shit, Dolce, you went there. I went there because I see it every day in our practice. You can do this. You can do this. Um, 5 p.m., right on, right on. Diego says, I'm from Sydney, Australia. Sending love and thank you for everything. Diego, thank you so much. I love Sydney. I love Australia. 
Sydney, I've been to Sydney so many times in Melbourne, in Brisbane, in Perth, so many times. I love Sydney. I love Australia. I got so many great friends, so many members of our community, clients and customers and, and just, you know, active viewers and participants of this channel are from Australia. It's a very big market for us. I freaking love you guys. My heart goes out to you guys in solidarity and support. I understand culturally what you're dealing with right now. And you guys are in the thick of it, much more so than we see here in the United States. It's not well reported, but I, I speak with my Australian clients every single day. And it's, it's, it's insane what you guys are dealing with. So stay strong, Diego. Stay fit. Stay healthy. Build a moat around your life and stay fully insulated. Do not let the chaos and the craziness of the world around you affect you. Focus on the things you can control. That is your personal health and your personal wealth. Uh, Man Bear Pig, I subbed because of the non-toxic, helpful chat. Well, this is the place. Non-toxic, no dysfunction, no negativity, straightforward, honest, actionable, and evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life. That is why I am here, and I appreciate you being here just for that. Eastern time. Um, do you recommend pre-workout or just going all natural? I like how nitric oxides open up my vascular system in the pre-workouts. Is Gorilla Mind the best supplements? I don't know Gorilla Mind. I know that's Derek from More Plates, More Dates. I don't know what the formulation is, but we don't do any pre-workout. Maybe a little bit of espresso to get that little bit of caffeine. Now, caffeine is one of the most powerful ergogenic aids. Caffeine is actually banned in the Olympics. Caffeine is a controlled substance under, under USADA and WADA protocol. Did you know that? Caffeine. Caffeine, in my opinion, is more powerful and much less expensive and much healthier than the vast majority of over-the-counter synthetic toxic chemical sports supplements. A little spike of caffeine is really all you need from an ergogenic performance boosting per, uh, perspective. Now, you can consider supplementation with an L-citrulline. L-citrulline actually allows your body to convert its own nitric oxide, so now you're not taking exogenous nit nitric oxide. L-citrulline might be a supplement. And if you're working with us, let's say one of our private clients, which we do, you can go to the dolcediet.com. If you are interested briefly, let me show you here just for context. You can go to the dolcediet.com. We do have the four and 12 week program, but if you click online coaching, well, you can actually become a private client working with myself. I mean, there's some, you know, great testimonials. Uh, from, from great past clients and such, but you can consider that also, and we can help build you, you help you understand how to truly optimize your workouts through all of uh, natural means, maybe beet juice, cold press beet juice is something we use with our pro athletes and our elite athletes. We do not resort to the synthetic toxic chemicals of general sports supplements. Um, I binge watched the new Netflix series, Archive 84 till 3 a.m. What a creepy series. Have not seen it, but I might take a look. I don't mind uh, creepy. I've been trying Cialis for pre-workout pumps. Get rid of that bullshit, bro. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. You don't need that stuff. You are, you're buying into the drug-induced fitness marketing element of the health and fitness world. Stay away from that. You don't need Cialis to get a better pump. You don't need any of that shit. You need to clean out your body of the synthetics, toxic chemicals. You need to eat high net nutrient, helpful whole food, and great variety. You need to be sleeping properly, training intensely, and then slowly adding, um, you know, not even supplements. Like eating beets or beet juice, that, that's not really a, a supplement, right? You can have cold-pressed beet juice prior, 30 to 90 minutes prior to a workout to actually boost your nitric oxide. Right, you can actually do that, or taking an L citrulline, which is more of a health supplement um, than it is a performance enhancing supplement, but it has performance enhancing benefits. I could rant on this um, all day long. Awesome, thank you. You got it. I support the uh, UK, the USA, and Australia are unstoppable. Fair enough. Right. Do you know of any good food that mainstream media has outlawed as bad and bad food that they promote as good? Well, they they most all the bad food they promote is good. Like um, anything that contains sucralose or aspartame or blue number, whatever, or red number, whatever, right? You know, all of these crappy, horrible foods are on the market right now. Just think about walk down the cereal aisle. Look at what they market to children. Look at what the FDA allows to be marketed to children. High fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oils, right? That's that's what the FDA is allowing you to or is suggesting you feed to your children. They're allowing 
um, false clay, label claims like, you know, high fiber or, you know, all natural, all natural high fructose corn syrup. Are you kidding me? Walk down any cereal aisle, walk down any kid's aisle and look at how your children are being poisoned. Is there any confusion as to why childhood obesity is, is at the highest rate it has ever been in recorded history? Childhood diabetes is at the highest rate it has ever been in recorded history. Same thing with adults, by the way. It's because the adults eat poorly and then they feed their children poorly. And as a result, our species is, is so unhealthy, which directly correlates to the current world issue going on, all the comorbidities out there and all these unhealthy people becoming more unhealthy because of the poor food and the poor lifestyle choices that they're making. It has nothing to do with wearing a, a cloth sock around their face. Uh, Mike, what up? Back and shoulder sipping pre-workout now ready to win the day. Hell yeah, Paul P. Let's get it, my man. Interesting info. This dude is a brain. Thank you. It's I've devoted my life to this. I work with, you know, elite, the elite of the elite, the most elite athletes, world champions, Olympic medalists. But also I work with very high operators, entrepreneurs, VIPs, CEOs, leaders of industry, heads of nations, um, bring us in to help them optimize their health, their fitness, their performance. So we really are on that razor's edge. And I want to share this information with you every single day because you deserve access to the very same information the world's elite have access to. I am the, the, the vessel of this information in many ways. And I want to share it with you guys, whatever way that I can. Mike, is it okay to take Yohimbi creatine before hitting the weights? I would be careful with the Yohimbi, or really it's the Yohimbine. The Yohimbine HCL would be the version that is most tested and seems to be most effective. But I would say be very, 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 very careful because it does have a highly stimulatory effect due to a release of adrenaline. So be very careful. But there is good... There is good evidence, I have to say, that does support Yohimbine HCL as a pretty powerful thermogenic aid, but it's not well tolerated in most people. Some people get extreme nausea um, when they take just a very small fraction of the, the, the uh, effective dose. So I would avoid that, and I do avoid that, by the way. Um, I take creatine. Should I cut that out? or keep in my routine. Creatine is excellent. There's great studies on creatine, not just for sports performance and enhancing um, muscle and, and strength development, but also for long-term cognitive function. That's really where I point to creatine. Henrik, my brother, and Henrik has the Dolce Diet subscriber button. So make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, for great content like this. We put out so many videos a week now, three videos a day, Monday through Friday, at least one video Saturday, one video Sunday. Be notified, know when these videos come out. Subscribe to the channel. And if you do, click that little join button and get the subscriber badge. So I know you are a subscriber. We will be hosting subscriber-focused Q and A's with a great list of guests. We have doctors, we have pro athletes, we have industry thought leaders coming on and, you know, just really cool, great people. These will be available for everyone to watch, but only subscribers will be able to ask questions and engage. So click that little subscriber button. So we know you are a subscriber, but Henrik says weak humans need whole foods. Hunger consumes me. I eat everything. Rabbit poo and all metals are my favorite. My brother, Henrik. Always getting it in. Always crushing it, my man. Appreciate your help to people. F-U, Z-B, thank you so much. That's what I'm here for. Opinion on turkestrone. I don't have enough information. I am not an expert in that area. I know there's a lot of information out there. Rogan spoke about it with, with Huberman. Uh, Derek over at More Plates, More Dates talks about it quite a bit. So I know there's, there's good information. I'll do a deeper dive. Maybe I'll do a video on it for you. I, I do have some anecdotal information, but I, I just don't really focus on that. That's not... What we do, we are much more of a health affirming, natural, holistic style of company. Although our athletes compete and typically beat most of the drug users and the gray market sports performance um, consumers. And there is great benefit to that. Gur says 40 still going at it. Keep the content coming. Hell yeah. You know, here I am on a Saturday dropping content for you guys, live content for you guys, doing a Q&A and teaching the hard gainers how to get fucking yoked, baby. Brian Henley, good morning, Mike. Off to a kick-ass Saturday soccer. Let's do it. Let's do it, brother. I cannot wait, Brian. Absolutely crushing the game. My man, super, super proud of you. 
Oh, man, bear pig. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you guys. Remember, if you're interested, go to thedolcediet.com to check out our four-week and 12-week personalized diet and exercise program. It is incredible. You can lose weight, feel great. Everything you want is there. Every meal, every ingredient, every recipe, every set, every rep, all detailed specifically for you. On our on your it's it's directly on your mobile phone. This is a predictive avatar. When you first weigh in uh, and put in your body measurements, and every time you update it, you can see the difference in a full 360 degree view. Uh, full workout programs by calendar is on here with video tutorials, every set, every rep, every rest period, warm ups and cool downs, all built for you, specific to you. Your menu built specific to you every single day, every meal, every ingredient, every recipe with grocery lists and substitutions, all available for you. There's so much. Your private diary. We have predictive avatars. Uh, we have leaderboards so you can see where you rank amongst everyone else in the world, in your weight class, in your age, in your gender, in your demographic. That's all there. I'm super proud of what we've done here at VDolceDiet.com. You can click the link below. We're offering a 20% discount right now with promo code TRANSFORM. For those of you who want to literally set that GPS to your future body, you want a plan that is proven. It is tried and true. It is proven. And you can expect results. You will feel the results from the first meal. You will feel better. You will feel more energized. You will see your body dramatically change. I strongly suggest you take a look. Just go to thedolcediet.com to learn more. And thank you guys all for being here. You're freaking awesome. I love this community. I love the energy that you guys bring. And uh, I'm here for you every step of the way. George says, thanks for your time on a Saturday. I'm in the snowy parking lot of my gym as you speak. Hell yeah, George. Let's get it, brother. Let's get it. And Henrik says, ha, not me. I met my dog. Wanted to show the picture on my profile. I see that, brother. I see that beautiful pup right there. Thank you for the push-up video. Already using it. Go, babe. Guys and gals, if you did not see the, the video I did on the gymnastics push-ups, you got to watch that video. This will change your upper body strength. It will change your explosive explosivity. It will just dramatically improve the size and strength of your triceps, your pecs, your anterior deltoids, even your core. It's a very quick video called the gymnastic push-up. Go back and take a look at that. Click the videos. Click my video tab. We have a ton of awesome fucking videos on this channel. What else do we have? Uh, man, how to get rid of man boobs. We did that yesterday. The fat loss Friday Q&A, fasted cardio, protein intake, even how to be a millionaire. We spoke on that. For those of you who need some information on personal finance, building a business, being an entrepreneur, we talk about that push-up variation, late night munchy tips, um, fight news, MMA world. Is it harder for women to lose weight? Does your spouse even live? The number one food that I never eat. HGH Frag, we're actually started speaking about some of these performance enhancing gray market supplements, how to lose fat faster with a two compound um, stack that is little known, but highly beneficial. These are just a couple of the videos that we've posted in the last four days. Click the link, definitely click the link to learn more. If you like this type of content, I do ask you to just subscribe to this channel. Give us a subscription. Give us a thumbs up if you appreciate that. And definitely consider leaving a comment below. Your comments fuel this channel. This video was actually as a result of a question left by Cody Bishop. Remember in the beginning of this video, for those just joining, this was because Cody Bishop said, man, I can't gain weight. I'm a hard gainer. What do I do? Ask a question, leave a comment below, and I will most likely put that into another video. I need content, but I want it fueled by you. I don't want to just tell you what I think you might want to hear. I want to answer your very specific questions in detail, and that's what this allows me to do. Also, any engagement you can have with this channel will be greatly appreciated for the algorithm. You can just simply leave a comment below saying, for the algorithm, and I'll know you are helping us to grow the channel. Uh, Hendrick says Dolce video library on YouTube is everything anyone will need for fitness and healthy lifestyle for free. Been priceless for me, brother. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know how hard I'm working over here to put this content out, to help you guys to stay on top, to bring you the most honest, actionable and evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life. Well, guys and gals, thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Make good decisions. And until next time, boom!